time out to come today for all the time. I think it's a very, very important meeting. Um, I'm just going to start with a, a message that came through on the LMC server, um, um, and it starts like this. A group of doctors were picnicking by a river when they noticed people drifting by in the water, clearly in trouble. All of them rushed for help, pulling people out of the water, reviving them. All except one, that is, who ran away. Where are you going? Come back, the others called. But I'm a public health doctor. That doesn't matter, just do your best. I am. I'm going to stop them from falling in. So there you are. There's more than one way to fulfill your responsibility to patients and facilitate the safe system is one of them. And I think today's meeting, um, is the start of our thing of a new way of thinking of things where it's not about us all the way we're trying to do things differently. We are thinking about things from a whole system perspective and thinking about what we can do. Because today, at this moment in time, general practice is in crisis. Every single GP in this country, in, in this room, is experiencing those, those problems, those fires that are burning around us. And what we want to try and do is start to explore how can we try and tackle some of those challenges and what we can do. Um, so, in terms of today, um, toilets are just outside on the right. I'm not expecting any fire alarm, so if there is a fire alarm, please go through the door and go through there. If you've got a mobile phone and ideas, please switch it off so that uh, we don't get disturbed. Um, as you can see, we are recording the event today, and we're taking photographs. <laughs> After the event has been uh, recorded, with the uh, editing, and, and if there's anything that anyone says that they don't want being played back, please do get back with myself or the office and Jane supporting us today. Uh, we'll edit it, but it's, we're keen to try and get the message out there to as many people as possible. There's many, many people who would have liked to be able to come today, but haven't been able to do so. And we thought it would be a good idea to record the event so that they can, we can get the message out there. Um, the Wi-Fi is free in this, in this building, and I think it's called The Village. Uh, and if you are using Twitter, then please use the hashtag um, ASOPGMLMCs so that we can share the learning today with the rest of the world and the world. Um, and my first challenge when I arrived uh, as, as the Chair of the Association was when I started talking to people around me. The first question people said, well, well, who is the Association of Greater Manchester LMCs? And so could I ask the chairs who have managed to come today to stand up, please? So, we've got two chairs. <laughs> we are it. Um, so there are, there are seven of us, Colin. Do you want to just say a few words, Colin? Yeah. Um, yeah. Are and you are yeah. I think I suspect looking around the room, there's probably not very many people, apart from Andrew and Alan, who don't know me, uh, or George and Colin and Alan. I'm Colin Kelman. I'm a GP over in, uh, in Trafford and Hale Farms, and I'm a chair of all of Salt and Trafford Local Medical Committee. So we've got six other um, MC chairs. We've got Sharif, who's from Bolton. Is anyone else here from Bolton? Do you want to just say two words? Just drop into the front? Uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm George O'Kiran. I'm uh, a member of the LMC in Bolton. I'm also uh, chair of the Federation in Bolton. Uh, and as the mayor said, I think we are entering a new phase of uh, practice. And I think I'm here tonight to just find out how that's going to work. Thank you very much. Um, Tracy Bell, who was my business expert, unfortunately she's chairing a meeting for Great Manchester State and can't come to she's sent her apologies. But is there anyone here from Manchester? No? Okay, all right, well we'll share a message back to her about what's happening. Uh, myself, I'm the chair of West Pennine LMC and we cover Tenkside and Glossop uh, and uh, Elder. Lisa, do you want to just say something from the other city perspective? I'm on the spot, but let's <laughs> <you know, that's laughs> share. I thought I was just going to be the right and the sec secretary of West Pennine and the CAU to be chair. We're just happy to have you all here and that's the host of Great Manchester um, and look at working together and supporting each other. Uh, David Humphreys is from Mary. Uh, uh, is David, is anyone here from Mary? David Humphreys from Wigan. Sorry, Wigan, sorry, apologise. <laughs> Um, 
Hi, I'm Paul Thompson, I'm an LMC member in Wigan, and I chair a cluster. I think like everybody else, some of us are moving quite quickly, some of us are moving slowly. It's slightly a change. It's great for change, change for the better. John Rice telling you today is a really important part of that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, then Mr. Uh, Mohamed Jeeva, um, unfortunately he's also sent his apologies today. Uh, he's from Haywood, Middleton and Rochdale. Is there anyone from those areas? Okay. okay. And then finally, the Jabba that's uh, saying again, he's also sent his apologies. Anyone from Stockport? Okay. All right. Well, so um, that's who we are. And my first challenge um, in, as the chair of the association is to really get the message out there about who we are, what we're about, because if we are going to influence this agenda in any shape or form, it's really important that general practice has a strong voice in the centre. That's a clear message that we've received from Tracy Bell, and in the moment I'm going to pass it over to John Rouse and to talk a bit more about that, what that means, um, because I think it's incredibly important that we do have a strong voice, and we as the Association of Grace Matter Overseas are in that position. We do have a statutory role as LMCs. Uh, and I think we've got a very, very strong position to play. But to do that, we need to be united. We need to have a united voice, and people need to know who we are. So my first challenge is to try and help people to know who we are. My second challenge is going to be around, and, and so in terms of who we are and what we are, we've just launched a website. Um, it's there, associationgmlmc.org.uk. It's a start of the ten. We wanted to get something out there that people can actually find. And, You'll find documents on there, you'll find the contact details for each of our uh, separate LMCs, both the chairs as well as the secretaries, um, and all the documents and things. And we're going to start to try and put more and more information on there that's not just relevant for us, but also relevant for other people as well. So uh, please do have a look at that. But I've got two other challenges, and I'll finish at that point there. And I think the second challenge, and it's the first thing that was really put to me once I became chair, was that if we are going to succeed in helping to transform general practice and its role within Grace Manchester, we have got to find funding that can go into general practice itself. So my second challenge, um, and what you can measure me on in a year and a half's time when my term comes to an end is, did we actually achieve that? Did we actually bring more money into general practice itself to be able to support it? And you might argue, well, why is that so important in the rest of the world? Well, that's because 90% of, of all the contacts in the NHS happens in general practice. If we fix general practice, we're going a long, uh, long way towards fixing the rest of the NHS. Um, so that's my second challenge. And my third challenge is really to put a spotlight on all the great work that's going on within your individual LMC. It's not really about who the person is at the top. It's not really about what I'm doing. But it's actually the great work that each of you are doing individually within your LMCs. And if we can put a spotlight on that so that other people can see it, then that could be a very, very exciting place for my incumbent after me in a year and a half's time to be able to take in court. So at that point there, I'd like to say thank you.